Are you serious? Are you serious? That's right. You're looking at a picture of Syrians President Bashir Assad and Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow. They're meeting as we speak. Matter of fact, I think Assad is going to stay there a little bit, but uh, there's no reports whether he is staying in Moscow or if he's already back in Syria or, you know. But here's what we do know. President Assad, for the first time since 2011, since the uh, Arab Spring began, when we watched President Barack Obama start declaring that uh, heads of state would start falling, and they did, um, as they fell in Tunisia and Egypt and Libya and Yemen, and then what looked like was going to be the complete uh, fall of Assad. Instead, Syria fell instead of Assad. Damascus fell and crumbled instead of Assad, as Assad remained in his bunker for four years, protected by his army. The rest of the country went to hell in a handbasket, there's no question. Assad did use gas upon some of the civilians trying to kill off the Syrian Free Army, but at the same time, it is ISIS that has roared through Syria, beheading, executing, crucifying, raping, murdering, killing Christians all over Iraq and Syria. It is Vladimir Putin who has told the Americans, get your planes out of the Syrian airspace. It is without question Vladimir Putin who has shown the leadership. And you know, I had Dr. Chuck Misler as my guest last week on my broadcast, and he said Putin is showing real leadership. Now, you may not agree with Putin's policies, but you have to agree, compared to what the Obama administration's foreign policy, Putin has taken the bull by the horns and has begun to bring what he believes he will bring stability back to Syria. Only three weeks since he's been there, Assad comes out of the bunker and travels to the Kremlin, and uh, several Several cities have been shored up, and I think that ISIS and the Free Syrian Army, backed by the United States, are backpedaling. Now, we're going to continue to see what takes place in Syria and the entire Middle East region, as Putin looks like he has put his stake in the ground, and he's not leaving Syria. I think the hook is in the jaw, and we're moving toward maybe Psalms 83, as the armies are completely compassing Israel now. As far as Obama's concerned in his administration, it looks as if he's going quietly into the night. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're watching biblical prophecy play out right before our very eyes. Damascus has become a ruinous heap, but Assad is still on his feet. God bless. Jesus is coming soon.